गुड इवनिंग सेफ्टी फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू यू एज आई जस्ट कमिटेड टू जस्ट ट्रेनिंग ऑन द डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड टुडे आई हैव ट्रेनिंग दैट डॉक्यूमेंट दैट इज एक्सकविशन वर्क परमिट सो हाउ टू फिल दिस एक्सकविशन वर्क परमिट हाउ टू चेक हाउ टू इन्वेस्टिगेट फॉर द वर्क परमिट सो लेट स्टार्ट द एक्सकविशन वर्क परमिट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द एक्सकविशन सो excavation means any uh, cavity any man made cut trench uh, either it is done by the manual or machines or you can say any changes in the earth by man made is uh, excavations uh, so check your excavation work permit i already sent to you uh, just first one is uh, uh, you number one is area and locations so in area and location you have to uh, uh, fill and uh, give the notice uh, where you are going to dig where you are going to excavations and you can just uh, find out take to help with the sketch drawing uh, which is already have uh, your engineer or managers to ask to your engineer or managers to give that uh, excavate uh, that uh, drawings so you can easily notice where you are going to excavate okay and uh, with the it's better to you uh, with the this excavation work permit just attach the drawing so it's better to understand so write down the area and the location okay the next uh, second number the size of excavation so write down the size of excavations and uh, whether it is excavation or trench just write down the uh, size okay the next uh, number 3 purpose why are you going to excavations uh, uh, it, whether it is for the utility work like laying down the uh, water or a canal pipe water pipe and or uh, some utility like uh, uh, drainage systems uh, for the or electrical lines or the telephone connections gas pipeline so what is the requirement of your work is write down the purpose why you are going to excavate and the fourth number method of excavation uh, so but there are two method here the manual and then machines so each method has a different kind of the uh, risk so if it is going for manual so you have to first check it out the competency of the, the workers who are going to this uh, excavation and uh, if uh, now uh, going for this machines like uh, if you using a scavator or uh, in india we say jcb uh, so just uh, uh, check out to that uh, competency of the drivers they are driving license experience so for the matter of this uh, competency you have to just take out a simple things uh, like uh, always remember k k a t e so k stand for knowledge the person who has knowledge enough knowledge uh regarding that particular work so is competent then a a stand for the ability to take decision in a um, different kind of situations uh, so that is a and t t uh, person has a, if person has enough knowledge uh, and the tra- and then after the trigger the training so it means is competent and then e uh, experience so the person who is going to do any work uh, this apply this kate apply for any work or you have if you want to check any what is the uh, whether uh, whether he is uh, competent or not so you can apply kate k a t e kate okay uh, so uh, I, i just as i told you manual and the machine the two way for the excavation so each one has a different kind of uh, hazard so what kind of a hazard uh, with the excavation so the most the first and most uh, uh, which is the cause of the so many uh, uh, killed life and uh, so many death that is caving caving is a major uh, hazard in the excavations the next uh, caving means uh, collapse of the uh, excavation wall okay the uh, next uh, contact with the utility whatever the pipelines going uh, under the that's area expected area uh, okay without the checking or investigating if you just started the your work is definitely uh, uh, it is it can be uh, the very dangerous and that can be cause of the death and the uh, next it is uh, contact or uh, encounter with uh, some toxic gases so you have to check first okay before entering the excavation and the each shift and the next uh, contact with the um, or 
lack of actually uh, lack of oxygen so you have to check it out all that okay so now uh, fourth a uh, you can see in this page fourth a okay and then uh, here we find out the time and durations so the starting date uh, on which you are going to start the excavation and backfilling date okay backfilling is uh, so uh, important because most of time um, i saw on the sites uh, uh, engineer is keen to start excavation but uh, they don't have actually don't, they don't have the interest to backfill that excavated area so it's, uh, it's uh, so dangerous so we have to write down the uh, backfilling date and we have to also uh, stick with that date so we can avoid the risk and hazard then five number some safety checklist has the soil condition been investigated and the requirement of shoring is evaluated so first uh, before digging that uh, you have to understand uh, which kind of soil uh, like uh, soil as per osha we have four type of soil the first one is hard rock uh, the soil which is a uh, most um, you know just a stable soil and the second one is that um, a type of soil then uh, the solid is again uh, solid uh, soil so uh, the hard rock it can be a uh, 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 like granite it can be a uh, chuna patthar and uh, a type it can be a uh, uh, clay soil and next b type the uh, you know just uh, the soil which is a uh, disturbed soil we can say disturbed soil so a b type uh, it can be a, a crushing uh, stone uh, with the melt of cut crushing stone and the soil and the next c type of soil uh, it can be a very disturbed soil it can be a a sand soil the soil with the sand and melting that so uh, as for the soil condition uh, just we uh, before starting of the excavation we just need to keep that soil uh, sample to the lab so lab can a third party uh, so therefore we ask for the tpi third party inspection uh, for that so we can understand okay which kind of soil and what can be a uh, shoring or uh, what kind of shielding or trench works we apply and how to just uh, be provide the step cutting and uh, how to provide the uh, slope so according to the condition of the soil we can uh, apply that step cutting and the sloping okay so again here in the uh, front of that uh, uh, the column is yes no and na it means not applicable and then remark so if it is yes and then uh, put on yes if it is no and a n a not applicable so write down the remarks why it is no and in a okay then uh, next point it is uh, five two has the stability of adjacent structure been ensured so uh, wherever you just start uh, excavation you have to just watch out and uh, inspect that area um, it might be a um, uh, you know just blam that of the your excavated uh, excavation area the buildings and the structures so we have to check out the uh, stability of the data structure and the buildings okay and um, next point is 5.3 have the position of under can obstruction such as pipe electrical cables and other utilities be checked and isolated so first you have to just uh, with the help of drawing and uh, engineers to find out the if uh, is there is any as uh, it will be on the account there or not if it is there so first cut out the connection I, or isolate there or if it can be possible then change the route of that it will tease and uh, and if not then then cut out and uh, before starting of that your job the excavation means cut out the connections okay uh, why because if you uh, uh, if you you not uh, if you do you not i mean like then uh, it can be very risky and your worker can uh, you know face the uh, any time of that hazard and the next point is is material for burial signboard and warning light for safe traffic movement, uh, traffic movement and arrive so uh, before the excavation you have to barricade that area where you plan and also uh, stick the warning poster safety poster and it, uh, it should be a uh, colorful so people can understand with the color because the color code is very important in the safety so poster should be with the color so people can understand uh, the, the higher risk area or have the deep excavation uh, deep hazard this kind of poster okay uh, next the point is 
are temporary crossover bridge ladders gangs made available for the safe access so definitely uh, for the excavation if your excavation deep more than four feet then you have to apply the um, ladder ramp access way and um, make sure the, dif the uh, distance of the uh, two ladders uh, within the 25 feet okay the next point is uh, that is 5.7 have the disposal of excavated earth been organized if it is allowed as a spoil hit then should not so uh, most of the time i just uh, saw on the side uh, the excavate uh, the driver operator uh, during the excavation they just take out the soil it is it is uh, spoil after the excavation soil becomes a, a spoil so they just keep on that edge of the excavation uh, which is very risky uh, when uh, 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 weather change and the uh, heavy rain or uh, the uh, windy conditions or uh, any kind of vibration the spoils again uh, just uh, come uh, inside of the excavation and it, it is very dangerous if it is uh, uh, you know just uh, B type of soil so that uh, stone or uh, that cross the stone can be fall on the working lever uh, so uh, you uh, the spoil always uh, should be uh, at least uh, uh, you know just one meter away from the excavation edge uh, keep remember uh, if, if you have just uh, some kind of yard where you can just uh, arrange your spoil so it is better to just uh, uh, keep uh, one meter away just uh, take out that spoil to uh, um, that yard and the next point is okay uh, have all operators been made aware about the hazard involved obviously before starting our excavation you, um, as a safety practitioner you have to uh, just take TBT uh, toolbox talk to the involved workers not only workers the supervisor should also involve that area and the engineers and the operator also so uh, just speak about the associate risk hazard and also a hidden hazard uh, it is, we can say the impact of that hazard okay uh, so uh, I think is uh, the point is covered all and the next point is that uh, sign of the issuer and the other thing is uh, part of that sign of the acceptor the name the sign uh, and the also uh, date okay uh, so uh, take two copy of that permit uh, one uh, should be placed on the working site a second one is uh, before the documentation part and the filing okay so I hope uh, just uh, I covered the excavation work permit and uh, uh, if you just uh, have any kind of query if you have any kind of feedback just contact to me and uh, you can contact on go dot dynamic scale at the rate of gmail.com or you can easily visit our website that is www dot dynamic scale dev dot com so uh, uh, I will wait your response, your feedback, whatever you have or your query, just uh, contact for me. Thank, thanks for your watching uh, this video and uh, after that, after this video, uh, very soon I will be uh, with, in the front of you with the other topics. I uh, will be uh, regularly just continue with the work permit. So thank again for your watching.